There's a dark side to winning the lottery that most people don't know about. It's a Thursday when the lottery winner buys her fifth luxury car. She parks it near her new mansion, which has a dark chocolate river in the backyard. Her only worry for the day is if dinner's main lobster will be perfect or just about perfect. This is a snapshot from the life of the average Mega Millions lotto winner, right? Truthfully, handling the initial explosion of wealth that comes with winning the lottery is ridiculously complicated and stress-inducing. A disturbing amount can go wrong for your average lotto winner, and we're about to show you all of it. So scrounge up a few dollars and think of your numbers, because you're about to win the lottery. But you might want to hold your excitement for now. Do you play the lottery? What would you do if you hit the jackpot? Let us know in the comments section below, and then be sure to leave us a like and hit subscribe for more. Maybe you grind away at work, bored, making just enough to get you and your family by. Maybe in the middle of a menial task, your mind wanders and visions of winning the Mega Millions lottery dance through your daydreams. That jackpot? One billion dollars. Unbelievable, you think. That money could be yours for just two dollars, which you could likely scrape together with recycled cans. Your net worth could jump to a number with three commas. Were you to buy a lotto ticket, you'd know you'd have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than actually winning. You're not surprised the average American fruitlessly spends $207 a year on lottery tickets. Nevertheless, you resolve to buy one. Aware that someone has to win, so why shouldn't it be you? You stop by the convenience store at lunch and buy a ticket. The numbers you choose reflect an important date in your life. Then, later when you're finally home, you watch the official drawing. A man in a suit pulls ping pong balls from what looks like a popcorn maker. As he turns the numbered balls towards the camera, you notice each matches a number you chose. When all six numbers are drawn, it hits. You freaking won. Internally, your stomach does a loop-de-loop. -loop. Tears well in your eyes, your knees give out. You've got the golden ticket. Well, Lotto winner, take your moment. But then clear your head. There's a lot you need to know about the money you just won. See, your first instinct with the winning ticket in your hand might be to call all your friends and family. It might be to tell your boss he's worthless. It might be to head to the car dealership. All these steps would be ill-advised. Instead, lottery attorney, yeah, somehow that's an actual branch of the law, Jason Curland suggested signing the back of the winning ticket. That secures the ticket as yours and protects you from your money grub and filters. And before taking the ticket to the lotto commission, Jason recommended you assemble an A-team of sorts. Call a lawyer, a financial planner, and an accountant. Oh, could anything be less exciting? They can help you make the tough decisions coming up. In the meantime, keep quiet and don't tell anybody, Jason said. You can tell your immediate family, but as soon as word gets out that you won, your life is going to change, and you don't want your life to change unless you're ready for the change. Similarly, delete all your social media accounts. When you do eventually claim your reward, your name will come out, and the last thing you want are hordes of people with access to pictures of you and your family. So now you've got your team, you've got your social media scrub from existence, now is the time to claim your prize. Easy, right? Well, not quite. You have a few major decisions left before you can go all Scrooge McDuck. You can have that billion dollar prize doled out to you over a few decades, or you can take it all in one lump sum. But of course, either way, you won't be getting a billion dollars. You didn't think you were actually going to get the entire jackpot, right? See. Uncle Sam always gets his, and in the case of lottery winnings, his is 24%. That one billion just became $760 million. That's only two commas. Just ask lottery winner Andrew Jackson Whitaker. In 2002, old Andrew from West Virginia won $315 million. Yet, after paying the IRS, the state, and other fees, he walked away with just $114 million. All right, but you'll gladly take a few hundred million, right? I mean, who cares? Well, you get those few hundred million if you're the only winner. That's not always the case. If someone else defies the odds and hits the jackpot too, you split it with them. But you're the generous type, you can share the wealth. But consider this. In September 2018, 40 New Zealanders won the country's $1 million jackpot. Each winner took home just $25,000. Still good, but 
not quit your job good. Worst of all, the explosion of wealth so many envision to be their savior actually brings a wealth of problems, some more drastic than others. Financial advisor Robert Pagliarini described one of these problems as the honeymoon phase of sudden wealth. People get all this money, they don't know what to do, so in their excitement, they start buying and spending and making poor financial decisions. Instead, Robert suggested they should envision their future, then build a plan that helps them create it. Even this plan is not without shortcomings. Lottery attorney Jason recalled plenty of people who won a few million dollars and were then pressured into making bad investments or hemorrhaged their money in a bad business adventure. And the more you look at the stories surrounding other lotto winners, the more you see heartbreak and tragedy, even for those careful with their money. Just look at Missouri Sandra Hayes. Sandra won a few million after splitting a $224 million Powerball with 11 other winners. Once she secured her newfound wealth, she found her friends were suddenly short on cash when it came to weekend meals and entertainment. These are people who've loved you deep down, Sandra said, and they're turning into vampires trying to suck the life out of you. Other lotto winners will tell stories of friends and neighbors quickly asking for a piece of the prize. Time and time again, lottery winners and losers have learned the hard way that money can bring out the worst in people. Winner Denise Rossi, for instance, claimed a $1.3 million prize, then, to keep it all for herself, divorced her husband. Denise's plan backfired and the courts ultimately made her share her winnings with her now ex-husband. Meanwhile, in 1988, lotto winner William Post battled a hitman sent by his brother who wanted a cut of his winnings. And remember Andrew Whitaker, the winner of just $114 million? Well, that lottery winner spent millions fighting off over 400 lawsuits filed against him by people wanting a cut of his money. That's just a pain in the butt. So congratulations, you beat the odds with your $2 winning ticket. Extreme wealth is at the tip of your fingers. But now the adventure begins. Will you make the right decisions? Would you be able to use your lottery winnings to plan for a future? Let us know in the comments below. And then, don't forget to leave us a like and hit subscribe for much more.